In a statement sent to News 9, a media representative from Mass General Brigham says in part they, quote, made the difficult decision to defer some non-emergent elective procedures requiring certain IV fluids today through at least Wednesday. Dom Beers, public affairs manager at Concord Hospital, says that's not the case for them. We at this point are just, um, again, using these conservation strategies, being mindful of um, the situation and obviously do not want to compromise uh, patient care in any regard. Since Baxter is one of their suppliers, they're monitoring the status of IV fluid. But Beers says the pandemic helped them handle situations like these with no current impact to their operations. We were very well prepared um, to come together um, with key players throughout the health system to address the situation and find out. Uh, and then from, from there, we had like little subcommittees that we set up too that worked on um, recommendations. Chris Staywaz is the regional director for American Medical Response. He says their ambulances use a different supplier and aren't concerned about how much IV fluid they have. In the ambulance world, um, we tend to use resources as prudently as possible, and that will come into play even more throughout New Hampshire as these IV shortages um, uh, you know, come to play uh, in the EMS area. Staywaz adds if a supply emergency did happen, the state has backup stores available. Right now, though, that won't be necessary. I don't believe that this is going to impact patient care in any way, and people should feel confident that their EMS provider will be able to have the IV fluids in their emergency departments um, that they need to, to get the care that they need. Now, we also got statements from Dartmouth Health and the American Red Cross tonight. Dartmouth says it doesn't expect any disruptions in care either. While the Red Cross monitors the national supply in the aftermath of the storms, you can read the full statements online at WMUR.com.